In this section, I think that the electric piano is a little too loud. I want to explore some ways that we can attenuate the volume in quick and easy ways. The marquee tool is a wonderful tool for doing automation. If I hold command, I'm getting a command click tool, which is assigned to my marquee tool. You can assign that up here. The marquee tool does so much stuff that I usually have it as my second in command when I'm in the main window. If I hold down command and drag across and select this line, it's going to create two nodes on either side. I can very quickly attenuate this electric piano. Yeah, that's about right. So that's one way to do it. Let's check something else out. I'm going to undo what I just did. And I'm going to use my marquee tool again. But I'm going to select up a little bit higher. Selecting in this area up here means that we're dealing with the region, not the automation data. If I select using my pointer tool, it's going to extract that region. Now what I can do is I can use a set of key commands to quickly and easily create two points on either side of this region. So I'll go to this region first and hold Command, Control, Shift, 2. That automatically created two nodes on either side. So if I come to this region and hit Command, Control, Shift, 2, See, automatically did it by the region. You can find those under your key commands, Option K, and type automation up here. If you go down slightly, you'll see that in the main window tracks, create one automation point at each region border is control shift command one, two points is control shift command two. We also have one that does it on every region border. That's pretty cool. That means basically if we selected all of the regions within a track, it would automatically create two points at the borders of every region on that track. That's really handy. There are other really handy key command tools as well. In terms of deleting information or moving information from one place to another, it works really well. Another thing I wanted to touch on really quick was good automation practices. If we went directly to this volume here on the electric piano, it's a little bit too quick. Since we have a big hit there, it's going to be masked anyway. But I'm going to hold shift, select the background, and I'm going to make it slide into that volume. You want just a little bit of a handle on each side, a little bit of a, of a, uh, a ramp on each side, so that you don't have these really harsh cuts going on in the middle of your song that can really affect the flow of what's going on. You want things to kind of move around dynamically. So that's just a general automation practice that I wanted to hit on. Next, I want to show you a different type of automation. It's different than online and offline automation. We're going to use MIDI Draw, and I'm going to show you a couple of instances where you may want to use MIDI Draw. <laughs> 